and in the process, taking Indiana to the next level. I'm going to focus every day on supporting them and steering our state onward and upward. May God continue to bless you and our great state. Thank you. I'm here with Governor Holcomb. Governor, thank you for having us in your beautiful home. Well, I'm a temporary occupant, but uh, uh, it's wearing well right now. Very good. And uh, have you done anything to the home since you gotten in, or did you take it as it came? The big thing we did was we built a full court basketball court, which before you leave, it is a must see. Okay, very good. And have you had any uh, other uh, politicos back there for a competitive game at all? We play Hoosier. Oh, I like it. Very good. I know that you graduated from Pike. Did you play on the Pike team? I or? did not. I played my freshman year, and then I could I could show you th three scars on two okay. on my knee and one on my foot. Um, played with those guys, but um, and we had some good teams in, at Pike right. um, during those years, and then they had really good teams that went on to win the state sure championship. Yeah. So I've been just closely associated um, with our school. Now, you and I are from the same generation, too. Talk to me about your fascination with Slick Leonard, the ABA, and our Indiana Pacers at the Coliseum. Some of your best oh, memories, I'm sure. Well, that's, you know, I, I collect autographs. Uh -huh. I always have. My very first autograph was the Big O. Wow. And it was, you know, we would sometimes get dropped off at Market Square Arena or, mm -hmm. or some sporting event. Parents would drop us off and then wait till the end and pick us, pick us up. And, um, and uh, the Big O was my first autograph. That might have started something that right. kind of grew into an obsession. I always say people should collect something in life. Yes. Um, other than bad habits, I guess. But, I mean, <laughs> you know, mine's been signatures. Right. And... Um, and it started, it started in Market Square Arena. And then I understand that you have a pretty cool autograph collection. Tell us a little bit about that and what's been your favorite experience or your favorite one or two autographs yeah. with your premium. I'd say my two or three favorites. There's, there's ones that are sentimental. Mm -hmm. uh, when I got elected governor, then the first President Bush um, knew that I collect signatures and or baseballs. Cool. And he said, and he had quit signing things at this point in his career, and uh, he sent me a note and a baseball sign and said, a little birdie told me that you got elected governor of Indiana and thought you might like to add a baseball to your That's collection, cool. which was pretty special yeah. and touching. Um, I'm a history buff as well, um, and um, lived in Vincennes for a stint in my life, about mm -hmm. seven years, and... Um, William and Henry Harrison is who I did my final paper in, at Hanover College on. Interesting. And I've got a document when he was a uh, aide de camp to General Wayne, and wow. he has authorizing rations for spies. Unbelievable. I'm shy one signature, and then I'll have all the presidents. Well, maybe somebody could help us with that who's watching. <sighs> Tell us who you need the signature from. The, the first president. <laughs> George the, Washington. The first is my last, and it's almost by design, but it's also a... Uh, little financial consideration yeah, there, too. Yeah, I was going to say, those aren't yeah. cheap. If you see me with no shirt on my back and I've sold my truck, that means I probably you got, got Washington. Washington, exactly. Right. One thing I learned about Governor Eric Holcomb is that one-on-one, -on -one, he's an incredible person. But boy, the way he attracts people and the way the people love him is extraordinary. Let's go back to your uh, time as a naval, I yeah. don't know if you were a naval officer or not, but... Yeoman. I owe you. Yeah, okay. that's right. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, there you go. The uh, tell me, uh, I, I'd love to know how old were you when you went in? What were your right out of college? Wow, uh, it was interesting. And I literally came home one night, and and I'll never forget the day. And told my mother and father, I was standing at the refrigerator getting some milk out, and I said, "Oh, by the way, I joined the Navy today." Wow. And and you know, my mother somewhat uh, she's an extrovert and she was oh I'm proud of you and I can't wait to talk about what you're thinking and I said I'm not thinking it's done like I, I got the here's the ship you out signed date. up I'm, wow it's over wow. Um, I've been thinking about this for a long time I was just very kind of to myself about it mm -hmm. um, and it's the best thing I ever could have done well thanks for your service I you know as a coach I know a lot of times people say this, I didn't do much, but you know what? Being a part of the team and sign up is something. So thank you for your service. We appreciate that. Governor Holcomb loves the state of Indiana, but there is one thing he might possibly love more, and that's the first dog of Indiana, Henry. Come here. Well, there he oh, is. Right on cue. There we right go. on cue. And 
knows where the cameras are. And Isn't that good? Just Aren't you good, just Henry? <laughs> well, uh, Governor, we're honored to have you as our first family. Thank and you. Uh, what you and your wife have done for our state is great. The uh, economics, the jobs. Uh, Indiana is seen certainly as one of the leaders in success when it comes yeah. to states. So. All, all eyes and, and the attention is on uh, our state and for good reason. Our economy is growing, our people are growing, and we just try to nurture this ecosystem that allows people that opportunity to grow, whether you're a person or a community or a business. And that seems to be, it's not, it's not a secret formula, sure. but it takes some discipline and it, you know, it takes going back to those lessons, have a plan, stay focused on the plan, be disciplined, don't take the bait. Um, and, and what we're doing matters. And so have a little courage um, along the way to just do the right thing every single day. The governor did a great job of showing us his personality and kindness. But one thing that we really enjoyed was seeing his home and of course, the governor's basketball court. Well, I know that a lot of people call you the nicest governor in America. <laughs> I, I can tell you, you've been awfully nice to us. Thank you for your Thanks. hospitality Thanks, today. Glenn. This Glenn. is Glenn Bill for Lifestyle Indy.